My name is Liam and I assimilate movies, and today I assimilated a movie called Free Guy. I can't die! I'm never gonna die! Free Guy stars Ryan Reynolds, which is probably the entire basis under which the movie was greenlit. However, in addition to starring Ryan Reynolds, it also has a plot, featuring an NPC in a GTA-like video game gaining sentience. With me to discuss it is one, only, Oliver Catton! Woo! Yay! Oliver. Cheering noise. Sorry, I was just playing, um, uh, that really popular MMO made by a company that endlessly releases buggy, uh, shit sequels and crap games that, uh, ruin the point of the original and use lawsuits to cover up their criminal behaviour. Anyway, I'm just playing my MMO right here. Um, I'll be kind of paying attention to the review as we go, but mainly I'll be playing the MMO. So what did you think of Free Guy, Oliver? Um, it, uh, I guess we could just say it's bad and end the review. You can say it's bad and end I the can review. Say, yeah, no, I, I didn't like it, no. Of course I didn't. I, I, I saw it. I remember seeing it two years ago, and, uh, immediately knowing that it was going to be shit. And then I said I wasn't going to see it. And mm -hmm. then I lied. I said, uh, I'm incredibly biased and nothing this movie can do will change my opinion. Well, my opinion from the outset was, I don't expect this to be a particularly great movie, but I expected to enjoy it. And I think I did. You think? There were a few jokes that were just outright annoying. Yeah. Um, and there were a few that just weren't funny. But I actually laughed, you know, a decent chunk. There were plenty of jokes that weren't funny. For some reason it reminded me of Yes Man. Yes Man. I like Yes Man. Oh, I haven't seen Yes Man. Um, <laughs> it just hey. reminds me of, like, it's going to have that same cultural, like, spot in ten What years. is the cultural spot of Yes Man? There is none. Yeah, I know. You watched Yes Man. You watched this movie and you thought of a movie that you know has no cultural impact. Yes. But, I mean... Haven't you created a bit of a paradox there where Yes Men is now your go-to movie for a movie <laughs> that, that has no cultural, cultural impact? A little bit, yeah. kind of. I mean... It, it, so you think Free Guy is going to become that, so in, in a way it's going to live in your head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've, every now and again I just think of the poster of Yes Man of Jim Carrey like, like, on the bungee jumping. Him, him jumping up. Jumping, no, him yeah. jumping off the bridge. That's all I know about the movie. I don't know anything about it. And well, you don't know the plot of Yes Man? No. It's, a, it's pretty straightforward. I don't know. I it's called know. Yes Man. Mm -hmm. Take a guess. Is he a superhero? I only watch superhero movies. And oh, I, I also see. don't play video games. Um, so this movie was pretty good at depicting what video games were. They have guns, explosions. They're great at depicting online communities especially. And how Yeah, how there's how people, one, one server for One the server for game. everything. Um, how people talk to each other. They had teabagging. I know about teabagging. Yeah, yeah, teabagging. Um, they had, they yes. said the word trolls a few times, mm -hmm. toxic, and, and yeah, they, uh, that's, men they mentioned how like everyone's and, in their mother's basement. And you, you level up, and then that's, that's it, that's it. Yeah, that's, well, I mean, that's video games. Mm. Um, which is, you know, why I'm playing the, my favourite game right now, on the... Yeah, game. The, the game, yeah. Yeah, the game that's on this computer. I, I don't think it was written by people that, like, have never played a video game. Just people with a very, very tertiary understanding of. I think they've seen their kids play Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Well, what's annoying is like when he puts on the, the glasses that see into the game world. It's nothing like Grand Theft Auto. There's not really like any game because in most modern games you don't walk around and you just have like big signs that are external to the world. Modern games. Saying what, what everything is. There's no game that does that. Yeah, exactly. Like you, it's a, it's at best it's like a little thing in the corner that yeah, says like what window. location you're in. And it doesn't just say bank over a thing that already has a sign that says bank. And it's like okay, you, you, I get it. You're trying to, you know communicate what this is to someone who doesn't understand, right? How many older people do you think saw Free Guy? Uh, not a lot. I think it's the same amount of people that watch The Big Bang Theory. Which is... My grandma. I don't know if Free Guy has that appeal. I think I think the appeal is still people in their mid to late 20s. I guess that was who we saw outside the theatre saying... And a lot of people it. enjoyed that from, from our showing. Yeah, and I think they should be stripped of that. Stripped of their enjoyment? Yes. Yes. You would deprive someone of their enjoyment of a movie. Yep. Okay, well, it's if it's, the, if it's the wrong movie. Because there's only a few movies that anyone is allowed to like. The Godfather, 
and um, Spy Kids. What about Spy Kids 2? Uh, no such thing. But Spy Kids 3D, that was very much like an in the 2000s, oh, you know, video games are that you have lives and power-ups and you drive in them. Uh, yeah, it was really like he sees a health pack which is like out of a, a game from like an arcade. Yeah, from, well, from Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. Yeah, again, this is supposed to be a modern game. Mm. It has the most advanced AI ever created. Yes. To me, it's obvious that they don't understand what a video game is. So, going on and on about how, oh, this movie doesn't understand what a video game is, just a, a waste of time, because everyone knows that. It's not really important to a movie. It's not an original observation to no, say that, no. that this was made by people that don't really play video games. Yeah, it has to be said, but then you just kind of you know, drop it and then move on to yeah, other for, aspects. For me, it was just basically, okay, I accept that this bit isn't going to be good. Yeah. Uh, we just have to look for the merit everywhere else. Yeah. Very, like, appeal to as many people as possible comedy. If you like just being one of the everyone that gets appealed to when everyone gets appealed to, you'll love it. But uh, then they showed a bunch of real life internet celebrities and streamers in the movie and I made a rule where every time they did that the movie lost a point so now it's on zero points zero. Did it, it didn't go into the negatives though no it didn't go into the negatives they did exactly five times five times so that knocked it bam, 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 I mean bam. I did find those sequences to be awful it made me made me kind of kind of hate the internet for a bit I really don't like the sort of boomer gen x perception of the internet where it is just oh this thing happened you know in one game therefore everyone is talking about it yeah you've never heard any video game news ever though there, there is big video game news it is entirely confined to people that care about that video game yes but i wouldn't know i don't play any games i want to talk to you about a scene that i thought had all of the components to be genuinely hilarious yes. and fell short purely because they were in the wrong order yeah which one so there's a scene where Channing Tatum is is playing like an in-game character. He's one of the cool guys. He, he's established at the very start, he's the first guy, he's the first character you see on screen. And then later he shows up and he sees Blue Shirt Guy and he goes, Oh my god, you're Blue Shirt Guy! Right, right. Uh, right. That's kind of hilarious to me, is the idea of Channing Tatum being like generic cool guy, but he's being controlled by, you know, a nerd online. Mm. That, I, I thought, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. I'm going to continue to enjoy this scene when it cuts to the guy in real life. Yeah. And then it cuts to an actor who I find absolutely hilarious in every other movie I've seen. Oh, was, in. was that an actor that does stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's only ever had small bit parts. Yeah. He was in the Series of Unfortunate Events show. He was also in um, the movie The Big Sick as just a teenager operating like a McDonald's where the main character flips out at him and he just goes, It's my first day. And like, that sounds like a very generic scene, but if you see it properly, it, it plays out in a genuinely hilarious way. He's extremely good at deadpan. Yes. And then they cut to him, and he's still doing the deadpan thing. Yeah. But the character in game is freaking out. Yes. And he's and like I get that they have the voice filters, but the voice filters don't add emotion. They take no. it away. They, they take it away. He's going, oh my god, it's the blue shirt guy, and he does get angry at his mum. But he's still not showing as much emotion as the character in the game is. Yeah, no, it's, it's a fantasy technology that will never exist. So I was like, if you use that guy in a different part of the movie, I would have loved it. But they, yeah. you used him for the wrong character because Channing Tatum is flipping out. And they, they, I wanted to, it to cut to like a little kid flipping out. Yeah, and they, they dragged it out too long. All the jokes in that scene were dragged out way too long. Every other time that they cut to the real world, you, you said yourself, those were some of the best jokes in the movie. That was the best sort of humor, but you, I think you you, know, you could have done more. Two admins activated God mode, and then you know the world just kind of morphed around them to allow them to do crazy things. Would have been funnier if if you've seen like I don't know Gary's mod God mode where people are standing just perfectly still, yeah, just, just just their heads are moving and they're, yeah. they're just flying around through walls. That could have been yeah, actually doing that with a live action human. Yeah, where it's just someone standing like that and then just do 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that would have been yeah more amusing than the world conforming to them. But it doesn't look as cool, so we need to pump the budget up. I'm going to veer far away from the devil's advocate thing and say how much I uh, hated Taika Waititi's character. Mm. This is annoying. I really like Taika Waititi. I, uh, he's one of my biggest inspirations in a lot of ways in terms of his directing, and I, I find him to also be a pretty talented actor a lot of the time. There are a lot of people that find him really annoying, and this is the first time I agreed with them. Yeah. He was the villain of the movie, and it, there was no nuance to it whatsoever, which is fine. You can do that. Yeah. In fact, it, it, having, a, having a cartoonish villain played by Taika Waititi 
pretty much works to me in theory. Mm. I just found it obnoxious and annoying and I didn't think any of the jokes landed. Yeah. That was the main thing. And, it, and a lot of them were the same joke. It was just that he'd say, Oh, well, doesn't matter because I'm the boss. Yeah. Wah! And uh, that, that, that was the end of it. It, it. Every joke was a repeat of that same concept. The only part I found kind of funny was there was a bit of physical humor where he was on the floor trying to, jump try, trying to do like some kind of demonstration of how cool he was and then he couldn't quite jump up. Yeah. That, that, that was, I, I, I laughed a bit at that. And that yeah, was about I, it. That's just like the only thing that I would remember. Of like, yeah, I like that from Tiger. Yeah. I want to know how much of it was written for him and how much he just decided to just say. Yeah, he, yeah. He's he, the kind of person on set who would have just been allowed, I'd just do whatever. Because you're a funny guy. You, ah, yeah, you just improv a little bit, make it funny. Taika Waititi takes an already funny script and is riffing on a level that is freaking sublime. And yeah. depending on what you're working with, that doesn't really amount to anything at the time. Which it didn't, because it sucked. I still think he was the best character in the movie. Really? I, I don't think that. Who was the best character? I think uh, probably Guy. I just think he. I think Guy was a, a genuinely likable character, and I think that was what helped the movie to me. This is the biggest sort of devil's advocate play I will make for this movie. Is I think, I think it is true what what the mainstream says about Ryan Reynolds is that he's a likable and charismatic lead, and I think he's basically what carries this movie. I, I didn't find him to be obnoxious or annoying uh, most of the time, and I I enjoyed his performance. I found him funny. No. I also just found his portrayal of the, of the characters realizing his, you know, his own sentience and everything. I, I found it worked. Like, I think it was portrayed in an interesting way. Give this man an Oscar. No, I, don't I, he... he had like two modes. He was either, uh, what's going on? I don't understand what's happening. Haha. -ha. I'm always kind of happy, but I still don't know what's going on. Or he had uh, the one scene where he was very mad about the fact that he's a video game character. And that's felt like his two levels. The Marvel stuff, you know, I love it a lot. So I, I, I thought that was pretty good, but my favorite reference was right afterwards. Uh, the movie had a blue physics gun that grabbed onto a baddie and lifted them up and threw them around. I think, I'm pretty sure there was a reference to the physics gun from Gary's mod. If they had referenced more games, like if they'd had more of those in there. I don't even know if I'd like that. I know, but that would have been like a more appropriate level of reference humor. When you just reference Marvel and then later Star Wars, that, that was the point where I checked out. Yes. That this, the Star Wars thing was just... And they, they even played the theme and everything. Super indulgent and just... Uh, uh, yeah, I get it. Disney bought you guys out. <laughs> you, can, you can chill the fuck out. Please. If it had referenced more things, it would have become like Ready Player One, which it already... It didn't feel like Ready Player One. But no, Ready Player One is a, a far worse movie. That's becoming a type of movie. Mm -hmm. Ready Player One, Ready Player Two is going to be the same. Space Jam, the new evolution. Yeah, um, Space Jam, the fucking pile of horse shit. Yeah. Never watch that movie in your lives if the, you can. The advertisement, and T Taika Waititi being a bad villain in this reminded me of Don Cheadle being a bad villain in Space Jam. It is a very corporate movie, we can't get away from that. It's, yeah. a, you know, I can't defend the fact that this is clearly just one long advertisement in a lot of ways. Yeah, well, the advertisement for Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Is it is it an advertisement for Fortnite? Well, Fortnite has an advertisement for Free Guy in it. Oh, well, yeah. Fortnite has Dude from Free Guy in it, and it looks fucking disgusting. Speaking of Dude looking fucking disgusting, Dude looked fucking disgusting. Ryan Reynolds' face blurrily slapped onto a big buff man's body. It was I like really dude. creepy. I think it's a bit tone deaf for Dude to be in Fortnite, but not Guy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, yeah. guy, maybe Guy is in Fortnite and I just don't know. I don't yeah, know this movie is. does kind of try to push a moral that's very counterintuitive to all of their branding. Isn't the, the moral is don't destroy artificial intelligence? Yeah, I don't even know what the moral is supposed to be. Like, oh, artificial, artificial intelligence is real, so like, should we just stop playing Grand Theft Auto? Should we just... That's right, no, they, oh my god, that's right, they, they have all the streamers talking about like... I've never you know, thought about NPCs like this before! I've killed so many NPCs, I never thought maybe they'd have emotions. Why would you think that <laughs> they're, they're not real? Yeah, because they're, they're, pro they're not programmed to have emotion. It's an accident that yes. he has. They're programmed to walk around. And I'm not going to ever think about whether or not I should kill an NPC in a game. Yeah. That's stupid. Well, yeah. unless you're emotionally invested in the game and you don't want to kill the NPC because it's an interesting character. I don't play enough games. I don't know, do you think someone in a boardroom meeting someone was like, this movie is important? <laughs> 
I really don't know. I really don't know. I feel like the, the writers of the movie probably just got too far in their own heads. Yeah. They're like, this is a movie about an, an NPC gaining intelligence. So they just kept thinking, uh, okay, how do we make this matter? Yeah. Um, okay, I guess, I guess NPCs matter now, uh, just in general, not just this one. NPC, all NPCs matter. Yeah. And um, and that's that, that was the only way they could really escalate the concept. Yeah, don't go watch it unless you really want to. In which case, don't listen to me. If you want to watch it, I would recommend you watch it. If you don't want to watch it, I would recommend you don't watch it. If you thought it was going to be good to begin with, you will probably get what you expected. I pretty much got what I expected. I, I found some stuff to be really annoying. The only thing I didn't get was Taika Waititi being funny. It was the only thing I was genuinely let down by. Everything else didn't really let me down, it just gave me the level of mediocre I was expecting. And a bit of good from Ryan Reynolds, I, as I say. I like Ryan Reynolds. I like Ryan Reynolds. Controversial opinion. I like Ryan Reynolds. I like Ryan Reynolds. Uh, for me, I think it's a wishy-washy review for a wishy-washy movie. But what, what, what would you rate it? Five out of ten. Five out of ten? Five out of ten? Five out of ten. It's, like, it's, it's, it's closer to a four than a six, if that makes you feel better. Um, like I said, it, it was a five and it went down to a zero, but... I think they had the fizz gun in it from Gmod, so it's anywhere between a one and a ten. <laughs> you, you, you can't do that. You have to. What, what is the what is the gun worth? What does it do? <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna you clean all this up. I'm gonna stay here and play um, that new game that's out. Yeah, what's it called? Um, dog shit. <laughs> Uh, what, what, what are the characters like in dog shit? There's two characters. Mm -hmm. Dog. <laughs> and I'll leave the other one up to your imagination. <laughs>